What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool news video where we will talk about a lot of things, the major updates in the Ruben Amorim to Liverpool managerial saga and also we will have updates on other managerial candidates that Liverpool have lined up if the talks with Ruben Amorim collapse but right now Santi Auna who is a journalist for the Foot Macarto newspaper is reporting that talks are continuing between Liverpool and Ruman Amorim's agent. The Liverpool want to reach an agreement with his agent as soon as possible and right now the talks are very close to being completed. So Ruben Amorim, it looks like will become a Liverpool manager because just some little details are missing about the agreement but the talks are very positive. Ruben Amorim wants to become a Liverpool manager and Liverpool want him as their number one candidate and Liverpool are offering him a three-year contract on more than double his wages at Sporting and Sporting last night won away 1-0 so now they are seven points clear at the top of the Portuguese league with just five games to play so they need three wins from the last five games they can even afford to, to lose twice and still win the title they have a tough game against Porto away from home but uh, Benfica also have a tough game against Braga who are I think in, in third or fourth, they are in fourth place right now in the Portuguese league. So the talks are progressing very nicely, which is really, really good news. And Liverpool have also added to their backroom staff and, uh, as hiring an assistant sporting director to uh, current sporting director Richard Hughes, who is uh, yeah going to be officially in a Liverpool job uh, from July, but he's already working behind the scenes on Liverpool's managerial department. So we will talk about that more in detail in this video. But if you enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here and turn on the bell notifications so you never miss the latest update around Liverpool FC. And Dean Jones is reporting that talks uh, with Ruben Amorim's agent Agent and Liverpool between them are going relatively smoothly and the, ne the next round of talks is expected to occur as soon as Liverpool's contact with the uh, sporting the club of Ruben Amorim becomes active. He said, uh, Dean Joe said, I don't think there is confidence in finding an agreement over making Amorim Liverpool's manager. But there has always been an acceptance that it would not be sorted out fast. As far as I'm aware, nothing has gone wrong with early contacts and this is a case of sorting details around him, around Ruben Amorim becoming the next Liverpool manager. The fact is, he's keen on moving to Liverpool as his next step is key and while there is no actual agreement yet reached, this will soon move on to the next stage of talks when Liverpool's contact with Sporting becomes active. So first we want to fresh out all the personal details with Ruben Amorim himself as is the case when we approach a player, we first talk to his agent or representatives to see what kind of contract he wants, uh, what kind of salary he wants, bonuses, add-ons, closes, all kinds of stuff. And then when that is all sorted, then we can move on to the actual club that uh, the player is playing or in this case the manager is working for and we will pay the release clause whatever Sporting uh, um, you know, asks. Uh, Sporting has a verbal agreement with Ruben Amarim that his release clause could be lower than the official release clause but we will see whether Sporting will um, just let Liverpool have Amorim for 10 million euros or 20 million euros, whatever is the case, Liverpool are more than happy to pay the release clause. And what is also good news but a little bit alarming is that people who left the club during the last two years of Jurgen Klopp's reign, so Michael Edwards and other people, are now coming back to Liverpool now that uh, Jurgen Klopp has announced that he's officially leaving. Was that the case? Was that the issue at Liverpool that Jurgen Klopp was, you know, controlling too much of the football operations and that's why these people probably left uh, Michael Edwards and then later Julian Ward left uh, when Jurgen Klopp got a lot more control over the footballing operations and now Neil Jones, uh, who is a Liverpool-based, very reliable journalist, is reporting that David Woodfine will return to Liverpool as assistant sporting director 
to Richard Hughes would, would find left his role as Liverpool's director of loan management last year but he has been brought back as Liverpool continue to revamp their football operations department so he was the head of football projects and scouting operations at Liverpool and he left uh, one year ago so now he is coming back to Liverpool as an assistant sporting director from 2017 to 2020 he was head of football projects and scouting operations David Woodfine, Salah, Virgil van Dijk, Alisson, Shakiri, Nabi Keita, Fabinho, Minamino, Adrian, Elliot, Vandenberg, Kelleher, Jota, Tsimikas, Thiago, Oxley Chamberlain, Andy Robertson and Dominic Solanke. These are the players that he either bought or sold. But I find it a little bit crazy and a little bit far-fetched that people are working, are blaming, people are blaming Jurgen Klopp for Liverpool's current predicament. It's just a little bit of a loss of form. Liverpool still created 9.7 expected goals in just the last three games alone and we just keep missing all of our chances. And if, we, if the chances sooner or later for because of the law of averages sooner or later the chances will start going in why not start going in against Atalanta because we can score three goals against Atalanta we have won there five nil in a Champions League game so I think Liverpool still has a chance to go to Atalanta and do something really really special and something really really remarkable if there is one team who can come back from 3-0 down even away from home it's Liverpool and uh, recently I discovered a metric that in terms of chances created Liverpool actually created the most chances the most expected goals out of all the teams in the Premier League we have uh, 10 more expected goals than Arsenal we just haven't been as clinical lately as uh, we should be so hopefully Liverpool will start taking their chances um, and Fabrizio Mano also pointed out something very interesting that Xabi Alonso has a very special link to Real Madrid and uh, the Bayer Leverkusen CEO thinks he 100% expects Xabi Alonso to become a Real Madrid manager in the future he said he has no doubts that Xabi Alonso will be Real Madrid manager in the future Caro Fernando Caro is the Bayer Leverkusen CEO and Fabrizio Mano said Caro knows that Xabi Alonso is super attractive to a future with Real Madrid this is the reality Alonso still loves all his former clubs Bayern Munich Real Madrid and Liverpool but the feeling with Real Madrid as a Spanish guy is really special the feeling with Liverpool is also really special because he called Liverpool home he said he felt more at home in Liverpool than at Real Madrid you might also remember that when I told you about Alonso rejecting Bayern and Liverpool's to stay at Leverkusen that Real Madrid's president for Antonio Perez is a big fan of Xabi Alonso he loves Xabi Alonso and the way he is as a person and as a manager he also believes he has the perfect style for Real Madrid and that his skills his skills as a coach are fantastic so that is why the feeling is that one day Xabi Alonso will become a Real Madrid manager and I think Real Madrid are already in Xabi Alonso's ear saying to him once Carlo Ancelotti steps down in one or two years we want you as the next manager so maybe Xabi Alonso thought why not stay at Bayer Leverkusen for the next two years and then I can become Real Madrid manager that's an interesting pathway Fabrizio Mano also linked Unai Emery with the Liverpool job but he said that uh, Unai Emery is fully focused on Aston Villa at the moment Emery has done a hugely impressive job at Aston Villa and I'm aware some uh, pundits have been discussing and debating if he should become Liverpool manager why aren't we seeing Emery linked with some of the top jobs available this summer my understanding Fabrizio Mano said is that this is because Emery is fully focused on Aston Villa with Monchi with Vida Gianni all are together focusing on Aston Villa's European campaign this season and of course qualifying Aston Villa for the Champions League that would be a huge success nothing is concrete at this stage with other jobs there is interest for sure in Emery but he's focusing on Aston Villa right now and another update Julian Nagelsmann is like third fourth choice at Liverpool he's now the front runner to become Bayern, Le Bayern Munich manager Fabrizio Mano said, I want to confirm once again that Julian Nagelsmann is the front runner for a Bayern Munich job ahead of the Bzerbi and Ralf Ragnik, who are two alternatives. What will be important will be for Bayern to understand 
what will happen between Nagelsmann and the Germany national team. My understanding is that the German nation, national team federation want to keep Nagelsmann until 2026 and they have already prepared a new contract proposal for him. They want him to commit to the national team. Nagelsmann himself wants to decide his future before the Euros and he knows that Bayern's interest is strong and concrete. Bayern have an idea of what they want their project to be with Nagelsmann and now it's about entering into the crucial stages of the conversation. Conversations took place with his agent in recent weeks. He's the big favorite for job but I think uh, Liverpool don't really want anybody else but uh, Ruben Amorim. We have been linked of course with a lot of people but Ruben Amorim is our number one choice and we are very close to an agreement being reached and then we will talk to Sporting. So that's very very exciting and very good news. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.